are so imperceptibly small, and everything around you is so unfathomably huge, and yet it doesn't bother you one bit. To an outside observer, you might seem like a speck of sand drifting in this vast ocean, but at your level, in your microscopic world, you're swimming with purpose. Your front six legs churn slowly through the water, while your rear pair of legs drift idly behind. You are the mighty small tardigrade, and you are perhaps the most resilient and capable being on the entire planet. You deal so well under pressure. In fact, you're currently experiencing over 16,000 pounds per square inch of it as you drift slowly through the depths of the Mariana Trench. The weight of the entire ocean presses upon you. What would be crushing to others is for you a firm pressure all around, as though the ocean itself is giving you a firm and comforting hug. The water is cool upon your skin. Today, it's a refreshing two degrees Celsius, not the coldest you've experienced to be sure. The weather never bothers you, one way or the other. Keep drifting through the ocean deep, letting all thoughts become soft and slow. You have no pressing needs right now. You don't so much as breathe. You have no lungs after all. But you extract oxygen from the water. As water flows around and over you, air flows into you, seeping through your skin, which is so thin that it can appear translucent in the right light. Let all eight of your limbs relax. Enjoy the feeling of near weightlessness as you drift in the ocean, putting trust in the current surging all around. Drifting along, there's only inky blackness all around. So deep that even the light of the sun cannot reach. You cannot tell where you're going or how fast, but you do not mind. Wherever you end up, you will find a way to thrive as you always have. Drifting, drifting, you lose track of time. Until one day, you're scooped up in a jar and taken far, far away and placed aboard the capsule of a towering rocket. Not your first choice, or even your choice. But yet, here you are. There's a thrumming as the metal capsule rumbles with a bassy intensity. There's a flash of orange blooming into a white, bright light, and you are pressed flat against the cool metal beneath your tiny body, a small speck in a small container atop a giant rocket bound for the sky and beyond. You soar until blue becomes black and you leave the atmosphere of the Earth far, far behind. You float, weightless in the capsule your little legs wriggling as you tumble in slow motion. Then there's a click 
and a burst as something detaches. Moments later, the capsule thuds heavily into something unseen and cracks open. Ever curious, you wriggle your way over to the breach, and as you slip through the jagged metal opening, your tiny world becomes infinitely larger. The lunar horizon stretches endlessly before you. You might call it featureless, were it not for the numerous craters dotting the surface. Not to mention the Earth, in full view just hanging in space. A blue sphere, wisped with clouds and speckled with land. Even at this distance, the planet is still large and astoundingly beautiful. You spend some time basking in the sight and space of space. The soft dust of the moon feels good beneath your eight clawed feet. It's quiet and calm here. There's no oxygen, but you never were one for conventional breathing anyhow. Looking up, there's an inky blackness overhead. At first you're reminded of the ocean's dark depths, but this void is strewn with pinpricks of vibrant light. It's overwhelming in the best way possible. It's another wide open space, your favorite, and it's nice and cool at a frosty negative 200 degrees. Solar radiation courses through your body. What might be deadly to other animals, you experience as a pleasant tingling as your proteins assert themselves. Of course, as hardy as you are, it doesn't mean that you have to go non-stop. Every once in a while, you still need a nice long break. And so you bow your head and ball up into yourself, like a very small pill bug. Exhaling with your whole body, you prepare to enter your toon state. The moon is just another cool, wide open space, and it too can become your home. But for now, all balled up, you're ready to hibernate. And then, sometime later, whenever you are ready, you can reawaken. Right now, just enjoy the quiet. <laughs>